Welcome to a special version of Kathy's Cameras. Um, this is a Polaroid SX70 kit that I will be selling. Um, it's been part of my collection for quite a while now, but I just haven't had a chance to use it. So I'm going to be parting with this beautiful camera. I have another SX70 um, that I've used a good bit more and uh, it's the black and tan version. Not as pretty as this, but um, necessity dictates that I do have to part with this one at this point. It's a beautiful kit. It comes with the classic tan and leather, the original model. You can see it says Polaroid SX70 Land Camera right here. Um, that is the original model of the uh, SX70. It still has the inspected sticker here on the side and it's in just beautiful condition. I think it's been kept in that case for a very long time. There's a couple of minor scuffs on the leather, one here on the top, but nothing major. The leather's in beautiful condition otherwise. Um, along with the camera, I do have a lens shade accessory. And sadly, I do not have the necessary accessory holder number 113, it says, to put this on the SX70. So I have the shade, but not the holder. So those might be accessible elsewhere. I also have four flash bars. Um, one of them is almost used up. I think has two more flashes left on it. Three of them are perfectly new. So basically one pack of film used to get you, used to work with one flash bar, which was 10 exposures. Nowadays, I think the Impossible Project is making the film with eight exposures. So you might have a couple of flash bulbs left over if you're equating per exposure that you make. Um, it also has the book, The World of SX-70. It's a paperback book that came with um, the SX-70. I believe this is specific to this model uh, because it does show pictures of it in here and it just says Polaroid SX-70 land camera. So this is not for the later models. It shows images and some of the accessories you can get. You can see here, I think this is the holder that you might need to hold the shade on. And the shade is, I think that's it, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a great little book, um, little reference, I'm sure very collectible in great original condition with just a minor tear at the top there. And all of this comes in this original case, which is nice, it holds all of this, these items all together neatly. Um, and the camera itself, it is still functioning. I can't show you uh, shooting an image with it with the current film because I don't have any of it. So I do have a spent, uh, I believe this is 600 film, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I carved anything off to put it in here or, or what. But um, just to show you the function of the camera, the battery is still live in this pack. So we put it in. Close it up, and that's where it would normally spit out the shade or the, the top uh, picture that's in the uh, film pack. And you can see here that when I fire the shutter, it's very slow because it's dark in here. Let me put it back here where it's in the light. Maybe it'll sense. Yeah, still a little slow because I'm indoors. But it does fire fine. Um, I did use it a while back, and it did work just fine. I think you might even be able to see in the viewfinder there. Check it out. Let me see if I can actually get it to focus while we're looking through the viewfinder. Yep, see the focusing? Focusing works fine. The little circle in the middle, let's see if it lines up. And there we go. We have it all lined up, and we can shoot a picture now. You see it goes blank while it's shooting, so that means the uh, mirror is moving. Um, that's one issue with these cameras that you should look out for. The mirrors internally do get, get dislodged. I had my father's old model that that happened with, and I ended up selling it as is because I didn't want to get into trying to repair it. But the mirror was inside just kind of floating around. I think it actually ended up breaking inside of there, which is a shame. Um, but this one, like I say, functioning flawlessly from what it appears. Um, I did run film through it a while back, um, probably the last time was about a year ago, and it looked fine. I think the film was old, so my exposures weren't great, so I don't really have anything to show you. 
Um, but I can pretty well attest to the functioning. When I did have fresh film, it was shooting good exposures. And mechanically, everything in it is good. It folds together nicely, nice and tight on all the seams. And again, beautiful condition on the chrome. There's some minor scuffing that might just be from being in the bag and moving around a little bit in there, but nothing major, no ba major scratches, dents, anything like that. And to have it in this kind of condition with the inspection sticker and being the, the original model SX-70, the legendary, is just awesome. So I hate to part with it, but I really must. So uh, anybody who gets this is very lucky and good luck. I will be having it on Etsy, I believe. So go look for it there. My name on Etsy is Analog Soul Photo. Or you can go to my website also where I sell analog pho photography. It's analogsoulphoto.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.